Welcome to YouTube, Istanbul. Good morning from Istanbul. So this is our second day here in Istanbul and we're going to tour the city. So dito kami naka-check in sa Taksim area. Yan, kung makapansin yung Taksim. One thing about Taksim, Baka naman siya pinili kasi nga, tip lang namin. It's cheap compared to Sultan Ahmed and it's accessible. At saka hindi siya boring sa gabi kasi ang daming uh, restaurant. Um, saka shopping, shopping street kasi ang taksim eh. So uh, if you're going to Istanbul, uh, I would really advise uh, check-in kayo sa taksim. Dito mo rin mahanap ang nakahilirang shawarma dito sa Taksim. So yan ang isa sa mga advantage uh, if nakabuka dito sa Taksim kasi nga the food is so accessible and mura yung pagkain so, sa Turkey. Istiklal Street are known for the shopping streets. And dito rin dumadaan yung tram, the red tram kanina nakita nyo. It passed through here hanggang sa Bigolo. If you want, we can walk hanggang sa Bigolo. Yeah. Ikot namin ng buong street ng Istiklal Street kanina. Ngayon ako may souvenir muna, item. Later. Yan ha. Ano, oh, it's a good souvenir at shop. You want to buy. Yeah, what do you think? Later na. Sure ka? So, let's just follow yung mga tourists. So, ang technique dito sa Turkey is just follow where, where the tourist is going. Mapupunta mo rin mga lahat ng tourists pa. Kasi lahat ng tao nagbala kapupunta doon. Yeah, just follow them. Yeah, that means we're still in So at the end of the stick last street, mahanap mo yung Galata Tower. Yan o. The last time I've been to Turkey, I went to the top of the Galata Tower. Yan o. Yung pinakatuktok niya, I've been, I've been to that. And may kita mo yung buong... Um, Marmara Sea, yeah. You can see the Marmara Sea from from the top. At ang bukis tama may kita mo. I think this is one of the top. This is one of the top tower before and and Farsi Watch Tower yun siya. Yeah, it's a watch tower. The ticket for Galata Tower is 650 Turkish lira. Yeah. But unfortunately, close ngayon ang close ngayon yung um, Galata Tower and from window lang viewing, so it's not nice. Because if you want to explore Galata Tower, you should be at that, nasa labas ka dapat. If from window, it will be useless. Because the purpose of Galata Tower is you need to, you can view the Istanbul 360 degrees. So next stop will be, will be, will be going to the, saan sila naging isda? Kanta ko pata na hindi, para ko di mag-ama. Kanta ko sinin ko, alam mo. So, andito na kami sa one of the tourist spot here in Istanbul also. So, makikita mo dyan sa baba ng bridge. Maraming restaurant dyan. Uh, kumain ako dyan before. Ang kanilang national dish, yung bread na may isda. Pero, I don't wanna try that one. Kasi yung isda kasi is may buto pa. So, hindi, hindi kasi ako pusa. Timing lang weather. 2 degree but then it's so sunny. Rix, namingit na rin ka oh. 
hindi sila nagpamingit ha. At ma-miss ka sa sobrang dami ng huli nila. Kasi puno yung ice case talaga. For next stop naman after dito sa my bridge is punta kami na ang Sultan Ahmed area. So punta namin ng Hagia Sophia. Ang Sultan Ahmed mo. One corn. This one. Thank you. Mm. So our, our first stop here in um, Sultan Ahmed area is the Istanbul Waterways. So, dito ginawa yung movie na Da Vinci Code and the ticket price is um, around 450 lira. poster dito, eto, this one na may design so nag-iisang poster na ganyan lang design, lahat ng poster is the same na except for this one ayan, exit na tayo exit so ano masasabi mo sa ating uh, water system tour nila it's too much for a water system <laughs> I think that's the, that's the best way how to describe it It's yeah, much. it's too much for a water system. Sobrang <laughs> ganda niya talaga. And Though this is my second time to be here, but still, I'm always amazed sa lugar na to. The best water system experience. The best water system ever. Isn't it? So just across the water system is the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. So yun, lalakarin mo lang talaga siya. Dito na tayo sa ground ng um, Sultan Ahmed Mosque and in a while, papasok tayo sa loob and para makita nyo kung ano yung tsura ng nasa ng Sultan Ahmed Mosque. Yalla! Let's go! <laughs> Advantage pag lalaki ka, makakapasok ka talaga dito sa kanilang uh, masjid sa loob ng musuko sa nagsasala. Pag babae ka, may barrier talaga kung hanggang saan pwede. Hanggang dito lang sila, oh, mga babae. This one, this is the barrier. Yeah. So ikaw, hanggang dyan ka lang talaga. <laughs> Ayan, yan po yung barrier. Ito na namin sa Blue Moss. Dito naman kami sa Hagia Sophia. But I don't, I'm not sure if... Uh, free entrance na kasi nga they turn it out to be most na ngayon so let's see if we can enter that with you yeah. this is our second time here in Hagia Sophia at amazing lang kasi wala na siyang entrance kasi nga ginawa na siyang most so anyone is welcome to come here but you need to at least wear a decent dress yeah. maganda pa rin talaga siya sobra So, um, trivia lang, a little bit of history ng Hagia Sophia. It was a church before, and then after it was conquered by the Ottoman Empire, ginawa siyang mosque, and then ginawa siyang church again, and then into mosque, and now museum in the past decades, and mosque na ulit siya ngayon. So, it's a free entrance. So, ayan, kung mapapansin nyo, katapos na magsala for as as Salatul Asar. 
Yan. So, pwede nang pumasok yung mga tourists sa loob after prayer. Can you imagine how much yung gine-generate ng Hagia Sophia income before? With entrance. With entrance. I think, may, medyo may kamala na entrance dito ba't ngayon? Subhanallah, ginawa nilang most and everyone is free to get inside Hagia Sophia. So, at the exit of Hagia Sophia, andyan pa yung remnants that it was a church before before the conquered of Constantinople. Nasa labas na kami ng Hagia Sophia. And, diyan kung saan nagudo yung mga tao before. Yan. Actually, that's the usual uh, mosque, Tur Turkish mosque. May mga ganyan talaga sila. So, to spend our sunset here in Istanbul, we opted for a bus for us one hour um, boat ride. So we are at the Bosphorus Bridge now. Yan siya. Yan, that's the one. And that's the one that connect Asia to Europe. Yeah. So behind us is the beautiful sunset of Istanbul. Ayan. Five last trip. Yeah. Last trip na to. Pagkagin na doon sa taas, so pumunta kami dito sa loob ng boat para magpainit at cozy siya. Look at this. Okay naman yung view from here. And the view is okay yung view from inside, you know. Yan. Doon nagtatapos ng aming Bosporus boat ride. Uh, review mo nga. Huh? Maalon. But ang ganda ng view. Sunset view, tapos ang ganda ng city ng Istanbul. Um, enjoy siya. And it's That's just, it will only cost you 100 lira. So parang nasa, magkano in pounds? Mga 4? Mga 4. 3 to 4 pounds. 3 to 4 pounds lang siya. Yeah, worth it. It's really worth it. Our <laughs> last activity here for today, here in Istanbul. Hindi tama sa Grand Bazaar. And we're going to buy some goods here. Magiki bargain kami. Dito sa Grand Bazaar, kailan marunong ka magiki bargain kasi. Yun. There's no fixed price here. Yan. Expert tayo sa bargaining. Siyempre, dyan tayo magaling. Salam alaikum. Walaikum salam. Mashallah, 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 mashallah. Alhamdulillah. sa kayo makakain ng Turkish food. Yan. Ayun o. Oh. Medyo cozy ang gusto namin kasi this, this will be our last night here. So, let's spoil ourselves naman. Isn't it? Menu. Picturing the moon? Yeah, so... Yun lang for today, uh, after the Grand Bazaar, we ate our dinner in a kebab restaurant. I'm so, we're so full. So this is how the usual Turks must look like. Thank you for watching our video today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.